Good morning, folks. We've got significant space weather on its way to Earth after a flurry of solar flares. We'll dissect it all, plus go over a bit of weather and cap it off with a cool new study on my favorite moon in the solar system. But let's start with the last 24 hours on our star, and the activity will be on the right side. The departing active region fired a couple solar flares yesterday. One of them was the largest of the solar cycle so far. The peak flare was X2.8, the biggest since September 2017, and another M-class flare erupted this morning. The radio blackout from the X flare was tremendous, centered over South America, and the eruptions have begun to send high-energy protons to Earth, although that is still at relatively low levels. Now let's take a closer look at those flares and 131 angstroms of light. You can see the flashing at the sunspot group that's heading for the limb there. While models suggest some minor impacts are due to occur at Earth's magnetic field today and tomorrow, these ones are also going to impact the Earth. The SOHO coronagraphs are showing a halo release with ejecta going out on all sides of the central disk. At the end, you can see the same holds for the latter eruption. That means that at the end of the weekend, we'll take two more impacts, geomagnetic storms are expected. And something interesting to note, NOAA is saying this is one of the largest solar radio bursts ever recorded, which I find interesting since we've seen far greater flares than this one. Either way, we'll have eyes on space weather data for the next several days. Let's move on to snow, where Beijing almost never gets it, but they just did to the delight of the locals. When we check cold weather report, they're indicating that several other areas broke their record snow marks from Europe to Russia. I've seen reports that energy usage is spiking in these areas as well as the cost of that energy. Lastly today, folks, we're going to Enceladus, the moon of Saturn and my favorite in the solar system. The Cassini data is still being poured through, but they have detected a suite of never-before-seen organic compounds coming out of the water jets there. This data came from the jets that break up through the ice and out into space, and they tell us that the mysteries below that ice in the moon's ocean are even more amazing than they could have imagined. We need a mission specifically aimed at that moon. Don't forget, all of our book PDFs are currently on sale for the holidays. Catch up on everything you might have missed. Link below to that page and another for the sign up on our e-magazine. We break down and review the top articles every month and put them in the larger context. Next issue coming out soon. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.